Hey, everybody. Are we live? I think we are. I'm checking. It doesn't say it, but I think we are. Oh, we are. But yeah, I think it we are. It looks like we're live. There we are. We are live in West Texas. Uh, how's everybody today? Laurie and Randy Bell here again for yet another Senior Saint moment from uh, beautiful West comma texas yes not west texas but west west comma texas where kalachis kalachis were born or or, or sold live yes live yeah exactly so we're coming back from uh, a nice weekend at college station mm -hmm. playing with the kids and the grandkids watching baseball and going fishing uh, and going fishing and going fishing, and going fishing. And going fishing again and catching stuff like turtles uh, that we didn't intend to catch yeah crawfish C crawdads, a I crawdad are they crayfish they might be, they might be crawfish. crayfish here but they're crawdads where I'm from. crawdads oh okay okay right yeah <laughs> whatever okay very good so uh, good afternoon Neil <laughs> yes, good afternoon. How you doing, Miss <laughs> Nell? So we normally do this. We try to pick sometime on Saturday morning, but this wasn't going to work today. Uh, too busy putting worms on a hook and catfish Charlie on a hook. Yep. And, uh, so anyway, we uh, thought we'd catch you on the way before it got too late. Yes. Uh, because as the day goes, we kind of we wear down as I was fixing to say, you wear down. I wear down. Yes. yes. And it gets grouchy. No. 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 <laughs> Never. Kind of. Never. But yeah. Hello, hello Trevor. Hey, Treva. Tre Treva. Treva, how are you? Good to see y'all. Uh, <laughs> so today, um, and th this would have been good to have had the, the, ki the grandkids in mm -hmm. the uh, video. It just didn't work. But this, today's. They were a little hyper. Yeah, they were excited. Yeah, yeah. To go fish. Yes. <laughs> uh, they just wanted to see if we were going to cut the head off a turtle. I know. But fortunately, Poor turtle. we didn't have to. So no. They all lived. They lived. So we're talking about leaving a legacy today, and uh, I think that's a good topic. Uh, having just left the kids. Yeah. And. Uh, of course, there's there's all kind of things that we uh, can leave legacies for, and mm -hmm. some can be good or not. But today, I, uh, we're going to talk about some good legacies. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the Father in prayer. And hey, Mom, how are you? And Rhonda, hopefully. Howdy. Let's go to the Father in prayer. Okay. Holy God, we come to you today and thank you for safe travel thus far. We uh, look forward to how you're going to teach us and influence us today. We pray your Holy Spirit would reveal the truths that we need to learn today about leaving a legacy. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So would you read Psalm 71, uh, 14 through 19? 14, okay. But I will keep on hoping for you to help me. I will praise you more and more. I will tell you, I will tell everyone about your righteousness. All day long, I will proclaim your saving power, for I am overwhelmed by how much you have done for me. I will praise your mighty deeds, O sovereign Lord. I will tell everyone that you alone are just and good. O God, you have taught me from your earliest, from my earliest childhood. And I have constantly told others about the wonderful things you do. Now that I am old and gray, do not abandon me, O oh God. Let me proclaim your power to this new generation, your mighty miracles to all who come after me. And then go through 19. Yeah. Your righteousness, O oh God, reaches to the highest heavens. You have done such wonderful things. Who can compare with you, oh God? Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Miss Carol, how are you? <laughs> Glad you could join us. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's pretty. I like those that passage. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, you have taught me since I was young. Mm -hmm. um, and now that you're old and gray. And now that you're old and gray. <laughs> so, you know, the truth that uh, Scripture teaches, right? Right. So today we're we're going to still talk about uh, an aging faithfully book. I don't know if y'all can see it from Missy Buchanan. It's a great little book, 28 Days yes. of Prayer. Mm -hmm. So hear these words about leaving a legacy. It has been said. If what you do for yourself will die when you die, but what you have done for others will live on forever. Let, let that sink in a minute. Mm -hmm. What you have done for other you have done for others will sink in forever. Like a gardener who lovingly tends flowering bulbs and trees so that others, even strangers, can enjoy them long after they are gone, an individual can leave a beautiful legacy. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about planting trees for the people to enjoy 20 and 30 and 40 years later, not, not for tomorrow. Right. In God's way of thinking, legacy is about other people. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's not measured in money or valuable objects, but in selfless acts of love. After you die, no one will really care. Whether or not you drove a luxury car or a dented up old pickup. Yeah. So true. <laughs> they will not be inspired to be better people by your diamond ring or mm -hmm. collection of gold coins. What they will remember most is how well you love them. Mm -hmm. You do that well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Think for a moment about people who have made your life richer by the way they lived there. Probably many years have gone, probably many have gone, been gone for years, yet their influence continues. Anybody yeah. come to mind? With you? Yeah, I think of my, well, she was my mama B. She was the only grandmother that I ever knew. Um, my other grandmother passed away before I was born. But uh, my mama B, um, she was pretty much like a second mother to me. Mm. She uh, was always there for me. She never... I never remember her hesitating, you know, whenever I wanted to come over or stay with her. Now, she did get a switch after me a few times, mm. but um, I'm sure you she, didn't I, did, deserve. I did not deserve it at all. But uh, I just remember the love that she gave me. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, though she's been gone for years, she mm -hmm. still influences. Mm -hmm. So which which ones taught you about God? I know for me is my mom and and dad and grandparents mm -hmm. and some folks in church and oh, some yeah. coaches taught me about God. Definitely coaches. <laughs> you? Yeah. The same. Uh, of course, not coaches. I wasn't in. I wasn't athletic. I was in the band. I was a band nerd. But uh, my parents mainly. Mm, yeah. Um, so who? shared life stories that encouraged you when the world was caving in around you who influenced you in a positive way that there you may come to mind your world never came caving in around you well i thought it did mm -hmm. when i was in high school mm -hmm. so think on that who made you feel special when others said you were worthless mm -hmm. that kind of makes me think of uh the grandsons this morning they were wrestling and you know having a big time and showing out for us and of course as they can they got a little rough and then mom and dad had to get on to them and of course every time that happens it's just like a knife in, in mm -hmm. my heart I, I'm sure it is in granddaddy's too but I made sure to pull them both aside and I, I grabbed their little face and I said you need to remember that no matter how many times you get in trouble that we love you yeah. and that's never going to change no matter what you do that's not going to change <laughs> so yeah i had yeah. to make sure they knew that no that's good yeah yeah so the legacy that you we are creating with each new day is shaped in part by all these people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know the the way that we influence the grandkids will shape them hopefully Hopefully. Positively in the future, is just as it did our kids. Right. You know, Amber and Kelly. Right. So these people blessed you in a way that is extended to this very moment. Mm -hmm. 
and will extend into the future by way of your own legacy. Mm -hmm. So the, the bottom line is simple. You already know how the story will end. True. Uh, our mortal bodies will wear out one day and what remains is the impact mm -hmm. that we've made upon the lives of others. So we cannot fully grasp its reaches and you have no idea the fullness of, of your influence on people. So as you walk through your home, look at some of these photographs of folks perhaps that influenced you. Um, whisper a word of thanks to them. And then as you go through your day, uh, be intentional about greeting and smiling at others as you pass. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd love to do that. Yeah, no matter what kind of day you're having. Yeah, that's true. Because you never know. You may be the only personal contact mm -hmm. that person Positive, has. Yeah. Yep. So anything else for le leaving a legacy? I think that's all pretty good stuff. I don't know. We could go on forever. Yeah, but, we could. You know. So I think that's good. Then let's pray. Okay. Please bow in prayer. Almighty God, I long to be remembered as a person who gives generously of our time and resources, who loves unconditionally and influences other for Christ, influences others in ways that they could never even realize perhaps until later. And especially now, let us live so others can see the reflection of Christ in us, even in the best and worst of times. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, Ms. Treva, yes, your mom, we see that. Uh, many of our parents influenced us in positive ways. Yeah. Um, My mom definitely influenced me. Mm -hmm. yeah. True. Mm -hmm. Very true. Very true. And yours is still influencing me. Still influences me. <laughs> hey, Mom. <laughs> Love, you Love you too. <laughs> All right. So, is that it for today? I think so. I so, we'll get on down the road. We'll get on down the road and hopefully uh, we'll see you tomorrow somewhere either in worship at uh, Acton Methodist at 9 o'clock mm -hmm. or perhaps online at 9 or 10 30, Acton Methodist dot com slash live and uh, try to think about how you have or can be an influence for Christ uh, for others. I'll be there online in my nightgowns. Oh. Yeah. So not in person. All right. Okay. <laughs> Very good. So we're going to sign off now. Y'all have a great rest of the evening and afternoon and may God richly bless you. Yes. Bye y'all. Bye bye.